Hello there, I'm going to be doing another hat trick challenge. Uh, I considered doing some of the new VOD content, but I thought I would do that off camera a bit before flailing about on a video. Um, so, my hat trick challenge, if you haven't seen my earlier videos, I'm going to try to complete three consecutive runs with the same clan combination, but uh, the follow-up runs will require me to draft different cards and choose different champion paths. So it'll kind of force variety and um, I normally lean on on the same cards. So it'll force a little more variety and it is an interesting challenge. So, uh, okay. So I have Assuming Blade and Vine Grasp and Hollow Dripping. So I think... I think I want to do Firelight if it's an option. I should check the champ path first. It's not an option. Okay. Um, assuming Blade. Vine Grasp. Okay. Uh, maybe I'll go with Little Icarus. I can use Vine Grasp to, to kind of manipulate targets maybe. This will pay itself off. And then maybe Subsuming Blade to get him down to a break point, hopefully. And armor is... I don't think it's a good idea because I want to scale my champion, really. Um, starting with that. For the... Collector. So I lived through the first hit. Die in a second. That's okay. Perfect. Um, I guess I will use this and that. Since I'm going to be living through to the boss. One damage short. I don't see a way to fix that though. I'd rather scale my champ than Subsuming Blade right now, I think. Got lucky. Nice. Did a good portion of the killing there, so that, I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. I can't use just my champ, um, but I don't really like the idea of the draft because um, it's going to muddy the reform pool. So I think I'm going to look for Baron or Sludge is pretty good too. Hold over Reform is a good idea. Or Subsuming Blade. I have a lot of Reforms, so... Assuming Blade is a little awkward because it competes with my champion as far as scaling. Okay. Well, that's annoying.
Where is my reform? Uh, I made a mistake. Forgot my guys attacking. Doing exactly six damage, of course. Okay, so you're taking 29 damage. Why? Why is it not 27 damage? I don't understand. Um, I might as well put you there. No luck. Stealth is really hard to use. I think you need more health. And uh, let's remove a train steward. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay, I will accept this. And I will take the win. I mean, it's not a win yet, but it's very good. I want to draw into that as soon as possible, I think. Reduce the cost of it. 
I guess... I, I mean, with all that rage I'm getting, it's pretty good. That's too much. Thing. It's so good for the other two paths. I really only need four ember on the first turn. I think removing cards is more important than reducing my cost curve. What is my spikes up to? 41? That's pretty good. I'd like it to be a little higher. But I have 81 health once I play, this, play Adaptive Mutation. Okay, I'll set up on top. Seriously? I guess I should have played it the other way around. Good. Oh, Bramble 
splash would have been good. I shouldn't have clicked past it. I don't know what I wanted to remove here. These are all okay. Just give you more health. You have plenty of damage. Yeah, I really should have taken Ember. Should be much better now. deny the scaling at all. I guess I'll do that. Since you're not killing this, I'll do that. Ember! For turn one, mainly. I don't have any unit upgrades. I don't know what to remove. Like, the Vine Grasp, maybe? Yeah, I'll get rid of these because they could be important in a different run. Hold over. Not particularly. I guess I could put hold over on one of these if I happen to draw it before my uh, adaptive mutation. The only problem now is I don't have multi-strike, um, so the spikes is a little bit low. Well, this is a pain in the butt. Um, trying to decide if, if it's worth killing another one of these guys, but I think I'll just uh, deal with it so I can kill that guy. That's rough. Okay, 
everyone's dying there. Let's uh, kill you. was a little bit of a rough start, but I, th I think it might have been still worth it. Um, maybe. Gets me more scaling. Damn. Okay, twenty two pyre health. Resin removal. Uh, do I need resin removal, really? So much damage. I don't think I need resin removal. You know what? It might. I might go against the Temperin again, and it'd be amazing for that. Okay. I think I need to go with Pyre Health. I'll be bummed if I get the uh, artifact that lets me get another unit upgrade. Okay. I don't know. Just buying things. Not much that matters except for my uh, adaptive mutation. I don't know. Maybe I should start killing these guys. Whoever does the most damage, I don't know. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> um, yeah. Didn't even reform, but I might have had to. 
Okay, so what did I burn? Let me note this down. Actually, I'll go to the game over screen. I think it saved a lot of good cards. So, um, just to clarify, so I can't uh, draft any of these cards that I have in my screen here. I can start with them, and of course the starting cards you always start with. So, I'm looking at, uh, for my other two runs, I can't go with uh, the Spike's Little Fade. I don't forget the name of the path. Um, can't go with Big Sludge, Hollow Drippings, which maybe I should have cut those. Primitive Mold is a starting card. Razor Sharp uh, restores a starting card. Adaptive Mutation. And Subsuming Blade. Subsuming Blade is something I would want on future runs, but it's not mandatory. So uh, mainly the Hollow Drippings and the Subsuming Blade are the ones I'm sad about. Uh, adaptive Mutation is particularly good for this little Icarus run. <laughs> so same combo. Okay, we have, we're against the patient, um, and we have no tools to deal with it yet. Um, I guess I should look at the champion first. Well, I have to take Eternal Flame. Don't have any consume cards. Next cards get plus three. Um, trying to think of what X cards I could get, and really the only thing I can think of is the thing that reduces the cost of cards. And I think I'd rather have money. So I think I'm, I'm going to look for a Stealth Tomb here. Um, I guess I'll take this trial. Get all the money I can. It's actually kind of perfect. Although I would have liked a Train Steward to put up there. works. Let's see. I want to make sure my ch champion dies. I'm just wondering if I can kill a foot soldier. can, but maybe I just play two train stewards down here. That works. Crushing Demise is tempting. Didn't take it before, which surprises me. Always take it. Um, yeah. I'm looking for stealth tombs. I really, really want a stealth tomb. I should get a tank though. So I'm gonna look for uh, uh, a wickless unit. It's gonna be a tough fight three.
hold over. Okay. That'll help with... Help a bit. I messed up. I, I should have played my champion. It's pretty good. It's not great. I think I want something else on top. But I've had worse first fights. Let's get another one of these. They're really good. Okay, so I have two solutions for the final fight. And one of them is another endless unit. I'm not sure about the hollow though. It's and low initial health unless I get unleashed the wildwood I guess it permanently gains health so it'll catch up to the husk hermit it's a good tank for other fights so I'm going to look to discount these restores. Yeah, I can afford this, barely. I want to get endless on it. Let's uh, make a good train steward. Get you out of here. I think I have to take a gamble here. That worked.
Death. Yes. It's very scary, though. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to look for Endless. Oh, I think I can afford it. Endless in health. Um, let's remove, remove these train stewards. Somehow I didn't play that guy. like that. You'll die from spikes. Or, or that. Um, bad luck. Does this keep you alive? I don't know. Should have used that. Somehow, live in. Dazed. This means spikes doesn't mean anything, but it gives me a lot more breathing room. I kind of like it. Endless. I want it on the tombs too, but I have reforms. And I need more base health, so I'm going to save my upgrades for that.
Okay, so I'm just thinking about, do I really want to let this guy get up there with six attack? The answer is, I guess. That worked out. Pyrogra seems to make sense. Okay, what do I want to dupe? Another crushing demise? I really want to reduce the cost of intent on death and then dupe that. Which I could do over here. I don't have another chance at a merchant upgrade if I do that though. Man, that's rough. I really wanted to get you health and dupe you. The, this path isn't really working out the way that I need it to. Day's top floor will hopefully be enough. It's fine.
hurts. I think just having an endless top floor that's dazed is going to be good enough. Um, yeah, none of these. Card draw, so I get into my intent on death more. I'm struggling to want to dupe an unupgraded intent on death. It's expensive, but I guess it's pretty good still. And I'm going to reduce the cost over here. And just go all in on an intent on death. Um, I, I'm an idiot. I, I was talking like I was going here, and that's what I meant to do. Purge card. Um, train steward. I guess I might as well get the full discounts here, though. Holdover and Ten Undeath actually is a little more tempting. And now I can go get unit upgrades, maybe. Second one would be still good, though. Doing five damage is fine. Why did I? Oh my gosh, I didn't scale my champ at all. This is fine. I don't need to play any more of these. Oh, I do. I think I have a pretty strong deck here. I'm not going to pick up Engulfed in Smoke. I have an Endless Tank. And I'd rather have it as an option for my next run. I don't think there's a question here. I'm just going to do this. Yep, yeah, I'll do that. I don't think I need the Ember. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, and this. Hold over now. Assume. No, I'm good. No 
Nope. I guess I might as well... I don't know. There's not much to do. I could remove a card. Let's remove one of these reforms. Oh, you're even gonna let me set up on the top floor. Excellent. I'm not gonna give you extra rallies. do this. That works. Yeah, I want to wear off that melee weakness, so I'll let him die. I'm not going to mess with it. Um, yeah. I feel like probably this is better. It's so good. But it's working, so... between runs here. I'm noting um, what cards I cannot take on the next run. So, Woken Hollow, Entombed Explosive, Higher Grow, Crushing Demise. These are some good cards. Primitive Mold is a starting card. Restores the starting card. Intent on Death. Sharpen Awake. Mortal Untrap. Okay, so moving on. So this is going to be a firelight run unless I don't get it as an option. Okay, I'm happy with Steel Enhancer. Firelight is an option. Well, that's going to happen a lot. I like the Firelight path the most.
interesting. Um, that works, I guess. Not exactly what I was hoping for. Okay, well at least I can kill off these guys. Well, that's a lot of damage. Artifact coming in handy. Um, I have not used a molded. Yeah, I'll take that. Okay. Um, it's pretty important I get a unit. Priority unit. In, I guess the Enforcer is pretty good. Um, counteract the sap a little bit. Give him some multi strike. Some burnout. Just some in initial stats. That's good. Let's cut out a train steward. Yeah. Clean up my reform pool a little bit. Why is the top bottom floor gotta be small? You're killing me. No draft. Draft's probably the perfect unit. Um, Wicklash is pretty good too. Problem with draft is that um, it's not priority, but at least I have one priority in it. like molded to be on holdover and I'd like glimmer to have 10 magic power <laughs> I'd like to remove um, a train steward <laughs> oh See, do I make a super train steward? I don't think I do. This 
is working out pretty well. don't think this is necessary. I'm not sure what it does. I already have my units. Sort of. Do I? Yeah, I don't... This is... What the heck, I'll take it. Now I have my units. Move train stewards. I mean, just small increases here are going to be plenty. No, thank you. I guess Glimmer was probably a mistake. This artifact exploding candle is so good. Need any more uh, unit upgrades? Hold over on reform is a good idea. Let's make that actually worth it. I don't need Glimmer. Let's uh, get this guy out here. No. 
this is one, this is okay. What would it duplicate? Nothing really. Like, I don't really want another enforcer, and I have uh, the resurrection for more units, so. I don't think I can afford anything good. Uh, endless. not sure about this. Um, I like the fact that my champion is... has burnout. Let's just hold off and not do that. Pretty good, I think. Dazed, okay. Well, perfect timing on that. Intent on death. Not sure that quick is the best. Can't take adaptive mutation, so I'm just gonna skip. I don't really need cards. <laughs> I was thinking about card draw. I guess card draw is pretty good. I don't need. I don't think I need more capacity. Do I need unit upgrades? Um, nope. I kind of don't love that I have these entombed explosives because I did win with them on a previous run. So I'm gonna remove them. Even though I have a loophole. And maybe dupe one of my drafts. Yeah. Okay, 
So do I have any more molds? I do. Need this anymore. Okay. Have another one. I don't think I even need to do anything. I mean, this is going to be an okay amount of damage, but I guess I'll go this way just in case I get the unit upgrade. This one's good. That's very good. Okay. Happy with that? I, nope. Nothing to do there. I could do something. Just in case I need, like, a second floor. Paper funnel takes care of that. This should be putting the weaker ones in front, but I don't think it matters at all. There you have it. Three, another hat trick completed. This one, Firelight is just, I like Firelight because you can just make it work with no matter what you get. Um, like train stewards even. Um, but yeah, so this Firelight build just relying on the base champion ability carried the run. I didn't need much else. I had a draft, which is nice because it's one space. But, um, and the parent enforcer gave rage to help with sap, but I think that was largely unnecessary. And then Waxer Snuffer sealed the deal. 
Um, and then looking at the other two, uh, we had uh, Little Fade. Uh, this one uh, is the one I struggle with the most. And I was mainly concerned about the the Seraph the Patient, but I got lucky with uh, Light's Gift there. It made it so much easier. And Endless on the on the tank, so I only had to I never had to worry about the um, champion dying, really. Um, and Intent on Death obviously made it so much easier. And then for the first one, we had uh, the Spikes um, against the Temperant, um, and just was able to scale a lot early um, because of Adaptive Mutation carried that one so anyways I, I hope you enjoyed all three runs i will see you in the next video uh leave comments if you have suggestions for future content but well, i'm enjoying this hat trick challenge forcing me to flex my uh, versatility on these different champions goodbye